Let's start this Smite show. The Smite community is one of the best in gaming, and on today's top 5 list, we'll be showing off the creativity and imagination that comes from it. Today's top 5 list will go into some of our favorite community skin ideas that have made their way into the game. Let's get into it. The number 5 pick on this list wasn't a direct community concept, but grew out of a running community joke. For as long as he's been in the game, Ogni picked up the name Swagni, inspiring images, videos, and ultimately, a skin in the game. Like Shillery's Swagni video says, the swag is back. Guess I got my swag back. Feaster Bunny Bakasora first emerged from Smite Forum users Iron Wolf 09, Lord Tekron, and Ecos, stating that more seasonal skins should make their way into the game. The concept was loved on both the forums and in high-res and marked the first community skin to be added to the game, releasing in early 2013. In 2014, a Reddit post from Call Me Rooster popped up with the title 4AM Doodle Pixel Buster Freya. With 8-bit inspired sound effects and pixel art stylings, the concept received heaps of praise and attention from both Reddit users and high res and became a retro gaming inspired addition to Smite. In May 2015, on the Smite Skin Concepts Reddit page, user Carolux was inspired by Kawaii Pop Bastet and took the reins on reimagining Neath in the Kawaii style. Over the course of a few weeks, the idea gained notoriety on Reddit, Facebook, and Twitter and made its way into the Rising Dawn event as Harajuku Neath. When the first Odyssey launched in 2014, we needed a godlike reward for fans that completed the event. Since the Odyssey was a community event for funding the Smite World Championship, we wanted players to select the ultimate Odyssey reward. They voted, and Celestial Thanatos from Frederick Westerland made its way into Smite as Archon Thanatos. That wraps up this top 5 list. Have an idea for a top 5 video that you want to see? Leave it down in the comments below.